Aloha, my beautiful friends. My name is Krista Ralaxmi Detten, coming to you from beautiful San Diego, California. I call myself as a holistic coach, and I believe that each one of us, we have uh, hidden uh, treasure boxes inside. And once we open them up, we can start to manifest our inner fairy tales into the dreams, into this reality on our terms. Welcome to today's episode and today we will talk about uh, how to attract a spiritual man into your life. <laughs> a very, very exciting topic indeed, right? So uh, before we dive really deeply into it, let me uh, share with you uh, one personal story. So that was year, um, I think it was 2005 somewhere there 2006 somewhere there and I went online and um, uh, that time we didn't have Facebook yet but um, there was um, a beautiful uh, little social media kind of uh, thing called Orkut where you had your profile and you had you know your status and everything and um, my husband at the time had just um, I went in there and I realized that wow uh, he had just changed his status into single and I was in shock we had been together for like four or five years at that time and I couldn't understand uh, why didn't he tell me first or what happened and I was in shock uh, I couldn't believe it I thought everything was fine um, we had like very clear agreements how things will go and if something pops up we'll talk about it and discuss it together but here it was like he did, um, you know, uh, the decision and I had nothing to say about it. It was just non-deal, you know. So I also felt that was really unfair, but um, I was like, okay, um, if that's what you want, um, that's what we are going to have. But now going back in time, I actually got married to this man and uh, I got married to this man secretly. So what happened there was... Um, uh, that it was a situation where he said, um, listen, my parents don't believe into spiritual stuff. I don't want to embarrass them. So let's get married, but no big fuss. Uh, let's just do it. And then um, that's it, you know. And at the time, I was also so young, so I didn't know that, no, I should like stand up for myself and this is part of who I am and who I'm going to be, you know. So you're going to marry with all of me or nothing, you know. But I was so over the moon that someone was proposing to me and wanted to, you know, spend the rest of my li like our lives together. So I said yes. So I was secretly married for several years. And um, of course, people in my world and in my family knew, but no one in his family knew. So <laughs> I was like, wow, now nowadays this would never be a thing it would never happen so what happens when you get secretly married with someone what happens is that basically you are instantly when you do that you are actually instantly divorcing from yourself and that's what i basically did i didn't even understand it at uh, that time so uh, what happened uh, after some time was i traveled to south africa and he was supposed to come and visit me there and it didn't happen so uh, while there I actually started to study angel therapy when I got back to Estonia I was a full-blown angel therapist I actually got their certificate as such so I started to work as an angel therapist and what happened then was that um, he couldn't really understand like how someone would come ask me questions what their angels are saying and then I mediate it and then People pay like crazy amounts for that information, you know. So um, that was like starting to really worry me that I couldn't really do my work and I felt really bad and ashamed and so on. But then um, I had an opportunity to start my master's degree in Norway. I took off and we had an agreement that, okay, uh, we continue as husband and wife. But if something comes up, we'll, you know, um, call it off and then... Uh, he did that thing with the social media thing and um, that was it so that relationship was done 
So uh, over the years, I started to put into my self-declaration, which is a declaration about things, how to take care of yourself and what makes you happy and then stay true to it. One thing is just to write it down, but another thing is to stay true to it, you know. So I put there one day, um, I would like to have, a, a, you know, a spiritual man in my life. And that's what I got. I got the spiritual man who had no idea how to, you know, handle his finances, how to manage, you know, um, how to manage practical life. So when we got together, it was like almost, uh, you know, I became the mother of that man. And I was like, wow, this doesn't work. I want a spiritual and practical man in one, you know. So, um, and then first was like, oh, it's a big deal if I really find uh, any man who would like, you know, be open for, you know, spiritual stuff. And then I started to meet them, but it was still something was missing. And then I understood, wow, I really would like to co-create with them. And then um, I realized that that's not such an easy task to find a man like that. And it felt like mission impossible. And there was a point where I completely gave up that dream because it felt like there is no man like me who has uh, similar values, similar views, similar uh, worldview even, you know, um, and who is conscious and spiritual and practical at the same time. So I gave up that shirt, uh, you know, searching for that man, I, which I had been doing for actually 14 years, traveling to 30 countries. But then I gave it up and then suddenly he appeared um, in Mexico, totally broken. I was totally broken that time too. And then when we got together, it was like, okay, uh, here we have an opening. I understood that what I had been doing before was when I met the man and I saw there was an opportunity to introduce uh, to their spiritual world. I was snorkeling on the surface with them and then because I'm a mermaid uh, I'm very comfortable going to like you know really deep waters you know uh, three meters five ten meters or even more so I started to pull uh, these men into the depth of spirituality as fast as I could and many of them couldn't really you know comprehend it was like too much and I didn't take it step by step so they felt like suffocating and they took off um, they were scared um, and they left me so that was my story for many many years you know and then I was like okay um, this time I will be very slow I will take it very slow step by step and then luckily Michael is a merman too so that was like kind of easy you know diving type uh, of person and um, I, I uh, put together like a little program of two weeks for him so that he could get like a little taster's plate, you know, and figure out like what's, what's that and what works and what doesn't work and what is it, you know. And then as we got more and more involved, I could like, you know, introduce bite by bite, not like a whole, you know, tsunami kind of. And this is the thing, very many women make that mistake, you know. And men are built differently. They are different elements. So the way I see it is women are water and air. It's so natural to us to work with the invisible world or, you know, uh, spiritual life or spiritual ways of thinking. This is us. This is who we are. And men, they are earth element and fire. So uh, they have to burn. They have to build. They have to have the structure and system and they have to have grounding and all of those things and they have to materialize. If they don't have those, then, you know, things don't work. So, and now um, if um, those polarities are mixed up, then the man can't be a man and the woman can't be a woman. So we have to first look inside and see like, okay, uh, how are those elements in me? And then uh, how can I, you know, turn those things um, back into balance again? And why I'm not, you know, stopping talking about the importance of the mature and divine feminine as well masculine and especially uh, feminine is because we are now heading deep into new time energies. We take it so like naturally that we update our computers regularly we update our phones regularly but uh, we don't update our
our energies regularly, you know. And um, what you need to do is actually what I feel you could do is basically update your update or upgrade your energy through aura transformation. Or I have also developed now um, alternative to this, so um, you can ask me more information about that. So. Um, you can go into this new energy and then what happens the first two things is your life mission will be activated so all of these things and talents and things which are in you which you don't even know maybe um, they will come to the surface and then secondly also everything uh, uh, which is there to support you to find your spirit mate will be activated so before spirit mates um Anni Senna, who um, kind of came up with that idea first, uh, believed that we need to meet uh, consciousness partners. And uh, consciousness partners come to prepare us. Um, they sometimes come like wind. They come very quick. Um, they may be like crazy sexual, you know, um, romantic uh, relationship and stuff. And then they take off like super fast, uh, sometimes with no trace. You don't know even if they are alive. That was uh, the story of my life so many years, you know. And people ask, like, uh, what's wrong with you, Krista? Why did you have so many uh, relationships like that? Nothing is wrong. My energy was clearing me and preparing me for my king, you know. And when I met Michael and we were not clear, like, whether we're going to go together uh, into the future or not. So my energy started to already see, like, this is your spirit mate. So will take all the unnecessary, you know, consciousness partners you have been like playing around here with away because you don't need them anymore. And then uh, things started to change and uh, we made like clear decisions with Michael and then uh, we could start to like move forward into that. So and um, what I would say, um, if you want to like attract that spiritual man into your life, like uh, the first step would be, you know, um, you know, uh, to have more clarity who you are. And I have this um, uh, in Estonian, it's called 4V system. I also have a little video which I will link into here. So you can go and check it out and see uh, how this looks and um, how it is. So that, um, you know, um, you can see what your values are, what your needs are, what your viewpoints are and what your um, shadows are. And once you get clarity there, you also have more clarity what kind of person you would like to have in your life. And then you can make that list, you know, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, spiritual or practical man or both you would like to have. And then you start to take action. So to amplify and multiply and also speed up this process, I would recommend if you have been born before 1986 to check out and do aura um, uh, adjustment or aura transformation or um, you know uh, aura um, upgrading uh, into the new time energy which i do also now so um, because uh, what this does is also it activates the process to attract your spirit mate faster into your life so if uh, you already have met your uh, spirit mate and you're maybe even married with him that doesn't like stop um, you know anything it's actually really good because your relationship goes like uh, deeper and better so and um, two points which I say to men who um, are kind of like uh, hesitant to come to the spiritual side or spiritual world uh, when I say to them when they come to the first consultation with me and I say you know uh, would you choose this if I would tell you that your sex will be better and also your um, money and your business probably will be also better. And then they would say yes, but because they don't know how this functions or what they should do and so on. And men of oftentimes also with their egos, they want to do everything themselves, they know and so on. So that's, um, that's that, you know, fear of showing that I'm not able, I don't know everything, you know, I'm weak. Um, but actually that's the strength, you know, um, the, the most beautiful thing is a woman who can be fully who they are. And of course the man too, but, uh, when they have, um, a husband or a man next to them, 
who takes them 100% as they are and they can be also fully spiritual and maybe even co-create with that man that's bliss that's heaven on earth and i don't say it like to brag but um, i'm very very uh, fortunate that i have created this reality for myself with michael and um, i'm so so grateful for that but it has been a conscious job and work for so many years so so uh, so that's basically um, it for today so uh, if this really resonated with you, we would like to go deeper, open up the task sheet I will add um, to this um, today's episode. Uh, please share and like and subscribe to my channels wherever you find it. Um, this is one of the way you can support me. And just recently someone saw my video and signed um, you know, up for my inner family program, which is also one of the things I would recommend if you want to do the step, you know, to speed everything up with your you know uh, processes and stuff uh, working with your inner family archetypes inner child inner woman inner man so um, it works um, there are people who need this information who are heading into the new time energy consciously and want to do it um, the most holistic way uh, possible so and also most easiest way so why not um, Let's just quit um, doing everything the hard way and choose the easy way. So here it is, uh, the alternative, the possibility. So, And if you want to hear uh, this episode together with Michael, where I actually ask those questions, you know, Michael, tell me why are men, you know, uh, afraid of those things? You can go and find the episode. I'll put the link here to, to Infinite Activation, uh, social media or our blog and um watch that episode there so thank you so much all the best enjoy the summer and talk to you soon mahalo